Hi everyone, my name is Allie McKee and I'm a product manager here at Google. Today, I'm excited to show you how Google Workspace can help transform collaboration at your organization. Many organizations are struggling to equip their people with the tools they need to thrive in a hybrid workplace. As someone who joined Google during the pandemic, I know how important it was for me to be able to easily connect and collaborate with colleagues, whether we were working from home, the office, or elsewhere. So let me tell you Myra's story. This is Myra, who's about to start her first day at Symbol Superstore, a global retail company that recently started using Google Workspace to transition to a hybrid model. Myra's based in Singapore, so she'll be tackling her first day remotely, meeting her new manager, colleagues, and even starting her first project. As Myra sits down at her desk, coffee in hand, she's ready to get started. I'm sure some of you know how it feels to start a job remotely. It can be a little daunting. So let's see how it goes for Myra. First things first, she opens her new laptop and logs into Gmail. She's used Gmail in her personal life for years, so she already knows the basics. It looks like Myra already has a few emails, a welcome email from her new manager, Amit, and a couple of event invites. Like any great manager, Amit has included a few tips to help her settle in. He suggests setting her working hours and location and calendar to keep her team in the know and carve out any personal time she needs during the week. Amit also asks Myra to put together a rough onboarding plan for her first two weeks at Symbol and to get feedback from the project management team during their meeting later. It's a team tradition to pass along a few words of wisdom to every new hire. And he even has some info on her very first project. She'll be opening the Symbol Superstore location in Singapore Go, Myra. Amit would like her to introduce herself to the rest of the project team today. Myra's big on organization, so she'll go ahead and start her to-do list. Tasks are a great way for her to make sure she keeps track of everything, big or small. Now, let's check out those event invites. Looks like she has a new hire orientation coming up later today. Now, Myra can go straight to her calendar to see what the rest of her day looks like. She accepts the invites to her new hire orientation and team meeting later in the day. And notes, she'll be joining the team sync virtually. Myra definitely wants to block off some time to work on her onboarding plan before the team sync. Focus time is great for eliminating distractions like last minute meetings or pings from colleagues. While she's here, she might as well set up her working hours and location, like Amit suggested. She'll be available 9 to 5, Monday through Thursday, and 9 to 4 on Fridays, so she can get to her weekly yoga class. Priorities, right? And since Symbol is hybrid, she'll be alternating between working from home and in the office. Now that Myra's day is all planned out, she's feeling much better. Starting a job remotely isn't nearly as stressful as she thought it would be. Now it's time to start diving into those to-dos. But first, she'll spend a bit of time chatting with her new manager. It's a relief to know the team meeting will be casual. And I bet that Asana bot will come in handy on her first project. Myra has used Asana as a project manager in previous roles and it'll be great to easily get details on her projects without leaving chat. It looks like Myra also has a notification in Spaces. This probably has something to do with that Singapore project Amit was telling her about. What a warm welcome from her project team. This will be a great way for Myra to get to know colleagues from all parts of the business, from finance to marketing to retail associates on the front line. Speaking of, Myra has a new message in her project space from Sarah, a retail associate at the store in Malaysia. Sarah is going to be sharing customer insights with the team for the store launch, and she wants to help Myra get up to speed. This project planning doc should help. How convenient. Her doc and chat are in the same place. At her last company, she had a different app for everything, from email to chat to documents. But having everything connected here will be a huge time saver. The doc stretches across her entire screen and has a lot going on. But with interactive elements like voting and smart chips, it's a lot easier to digest. 
Myra can easily find helpful links, discover who's doing what, and even see the most popular proposed store location in Google Maps. Myra won't have time to read all of this today, but the automatically generated summary helps her to quickly understand the key points. And just like that, Myra's first task of the day is done. So it's time for her orientation. Myra is ready to connect with some of her fellow new hires and learn more about life at Symbol. The company's been growing quickly and there are a ton of new employees. So this meeting will be happening in a live stream format, which is a great alternative to a standard video meeting when the guest list is large. Myra takes a look at her calendar, opens the event, and easily joins the live stream. The session host, Fatima, head of HR, kicks off the orientation. To get started, she'll see where everyone's tuning in from. Myra's excited to see how global the company is, with new hires joining from every continent. Additionally, new hires often have a lot of questions, so Fatima uses the Q&A feature to let them add questions during the session. People have already asked a couple of questions, and Myra will upvote the questions she's most interested in. She also adds a question to better understand how Symbol will help new hires thrive in a hybrid workplace. At previous jobs, Myra often found that live streamed events weren't the most engaging, and it was really challenging to feel connected to the other attendees. But here, polling and Q&A helped her get to know fellow new hires and symbol a bit better, and Myra is excited to continue her onboarding journey. So Myra made it through her first orientation, and she actually had fun. Now she can start creating her onboarding plan. What will the next few weeks hold for Myra, I wonder? Thankfully, it's not going to be too difficult for her to figure out since slides makes it easy to quickly get started. There are also lots of other slides she can choose from, which will definitely save time on future projects. She wants this plan to be in solid shape before the team meeting. First impressions are important, right? Plus, it'll be helpful to get advice from her team members who've been in her shoes before. Myra finalizes her slide and has a bit of time before the team meeting. So she decides to take her dog, Scout, to the neighborhood dog park. While Scout plays with his dog park crew, Myra sits down to review her slide on her phone. Good thing she caught a tiny typo. A ping arrives over chat and it's from Sarah, the store associate that sent her that project doc for the Singapore store opening earlier. Sarah was busy working with customers at the time, but now she has time to connect. It'll be good for them to find time to talk face-to-face -face later in the week, since they'll be working closely with one another over the next few months. Myra is able to quickly and easily add this meeting to both their calendars directly on her mobile device. And there's even a suggested title and time slot that works for both Myra and Sarah. At Myra's previous company, store associates didn't have access to the same technology she did, which made it hard to get customer insights and build relationships with them. Connecting with Sarah has been much easier so far. Back from the park, Myra is feeling refreshed and relaxed after a little outdoor time. Perfect, since she's about to introduce herself to her new project management team for the first time. She's happy to see that the edit she made to her onboarding slide on her phone carried over to her laptop. Let the meeting begin. Like Ahmed suggested earlier, she'll share her onboarding slide in the meeting and gather feedback from her peers. Myra's a little nervous, but she's got this. Since they'll be working on the content together, the whole team can join the meeting directly in slides, which makes it easy to connect and collaborate with all of her new colleagues in one place. Myra walks the team through her onboarding plan and can easily make changes in real time based on the feedback from the meeting. Her teammates are also able to add comments directly to her slide, which Myra can address after the meeting. Well, that was a success. Scout even barked during the middle of it and her new teammates didn't hear a peep thanks to the magic of noise cancellation. So it's official. Myra's first day is done 
And may I just say, she did an amazing job with a little help from Google Workspace. Google Workspace brings together the Google apps you use every day, Gmail, Docs, Meet, and more. This integrated experience collapses the boundaries between applications to transform collaboration across your organization. Today, you saw how Google Workspace is a modern, all-in-one solution that helps teams of all sizes connect, create, and collaborate in a hybrid workplace. Thank you so much for joining me today.